guys, at maling nagbabalik ang inyong engineer, Beno, para bigyan kayo ng bagong topic about solving circuits. Okay, previously kasi, yung mga binibigay ko sa inyong circuit, pwede pa yung masolve manually. Kasi circuit pa lang yun. What if electrical network na tayo yung binigay? Or combination of circuits? Kasi di ba network is defined as combination of circuits. So, ang gagamitin na natin or ang i-employ na natin para masolve yun ay ang tinatawag natin Kirchhoff's Loss. Okay? Kirchhoff's Loss or Kirchhoff's Loss um, it is made up of two laws. The first law is the Kirchhoff's Current Law and the second law is the Kirchhoff's Voltage Law. So, let us analyze first the first law or the KCL or Kirchhoff's Current Law. Kirchhoff's current law states that in a node thou, the summation of the current entering is equal to the summation of the current living. Again, current entering, summation of current entering is equal to the summation of the current living. It simply says na kung ano yung pumasok, siya din yung lalabas. Ito lang yung in-explain na equation na to. And for you to understand it more, I have here a simple example to demonstrate on how are you going to employ or to use KCL. Okay? So, meron ako dito 1, 2, 3, 4. Apat na nodes. Okay? Review. A node is the interconnection of branches. ba? This one is branch. So, as this and so as this and so on. So, pangalanan ko yung mga nodes na yan. Let's say this is W, X, Y, and Z. Okay? So, sabi, current entering is equal to the current living. Minapahanap sa atin si I1, si I2, si I3, and si I4. So, to get I1, so, KCL, KCL at node W. Okay? Tingin sa araw. Diba ito si node W? Papasok si 150 amperes. So, current entering. May papasok pa ba sa node na to? Wala na. Kasi si I1 tsaka si 100 amperes ay palabas na. So, current entering is equal to the current living. So, that is I1 and 100 amperes. Right? Now, to manipulate this, I can simply get that I1 is equal to 50 amperes. It is as easy as that. Next, if I want to find I2, I just have to do a KCL here. So, KCL at node Z, papasok si 150 amperes. May papasok pa? Wala na. Kasi palabas na si I2 at si 140. So, equal to I2 plus 140 amperes. So, I'm sorry. Papasok si 100 amperes. So, I2 is equal to 100 minus 140 amperes. So, I2 is equal to negative 40 amperes. So, negative yun nakuha natin. Could it be possible? Yes po. Ang ibig sabihin lang ng negative na sign pagdating sa current, Kung ganito yung first assumption natin, in actual pala talaga, dapat papasok din siya sa node Z. Okay? Tatandaan nyo ha, kapag nakita kayo ng negative na value ng current, okay lang yun. It only denotes na mali yung naging assumption mo. Kasi hindi naman pwede laging tama yung assumption natin, di ba? Kaya nga assumption eh. Okay? Next thing, I could easily find the value of I3. If I'm going to have a KCL here, at node X. So, dito na lang pala. KCL at node X, papasok si I1, lalabas si 20 amperes, tsaka si I3. So, again, current entering is equal to the current living. What's the value of I1? That's 50 amperes equals 20 amperes plus I3. So, I3 is nearly 30 amperes. Okay? Then, I could already get the value of I4 by having a KCL here at node Y. 
So, KCL at Y, papasok si I3, papasok din po si I2, papasok din si I4. Meron ka bang current leaving? Wala. So, equal to 0. The value of I3 is 30 amperes, while I2, nakuha natin kanina, is negative 40. So, i-maintain mo, plus negative 40 amperes, plus I4 is equal to 0. 30 plus negative 40 is negative 10. Transpose, that will become positive 10. So, I4 is equal to positive 10 amperes. So, again, it is how you're going to use KCL. Tatandaan mo kung ano yung pumasok, siya din yung lalabas. And kitang-kita nyo naman kung paano ko sinet up yung equation. Papasok equal sa lalabas. Okay? So, please copy. Okay guys, so let us discuss the second Kirchhoff law. Second Kirchhoff law simply states that in any closed path in the circuit, the algebraic sum of the EMF and the voltage drops is equal to zero. Summation ng EMF plus summation ng voltage drop is equal to zero. Ibig sabihin lang, di ba ang EMF yung mga battery natin? Ibig sabihin, kung ano yung binigay mo, uubusin nyo ng mga resistor, at dahil inubos, equal sa zero. Okay, disclaimer lang. Iba't ibang school po, meron pong iba't ibang interpretation ng KVL. Kasi yung variation ng iba, summation ng EMF is equal sa summation ng IR. Um, either way, tama naman po yun. Sa direction lang po nagkakaiba. And sa side. Okay? And sa pagkikvl, may mga rule tayong kailangang alamin. So, I have here a sample circuit, a very simple circuit, and ito yung gagamitin natin. So, first step is to assign direction. It's either clockwise or counterclockwise. Okay? Ang lagi ko pong ginagawa is clockwise. So, clockwise direction, and then assign ka ng direction ng current mo. Okay, let's say this is current I. Anong direction kong pinili? Clockwise. So, KVL ako dito sa path na to. Taking clockwise direction. Okay? So, clockwise, ang gagawin natin, susunsunin natin yung wire. Susunsunin in Batangas means trace mo lang or susundan mo lang yung wire. Kasi saan ba nadalo yung current? Di ba ay sa wire po? Okay? So, simulan ko dito sa baba, pasok ako sa negative side ng battery, labas ako sa positive. So, that's positive 8. And then, meron akong resistor. Kapag may resistor, may nakain na ng voltahe. May nadadrop na voltage. Yun yung sinasabi dong voltage drops. ba V is equal to IR. Tama po ba? So, anong nadaang Nada ang current dito sa 5 ohms, diga I, I. So, 5, I. Kaya lang, positive ba or negative? Clockwise tayo, di ba? Tama, clockwise tayo. So, kapag kasabay ng ikot mo, yung direction ng current mo, negative. Okay ha, tandaan. Kapag kasabay ng ikot mo, yung current mo, negative. Sa ibang school, baligtad. Pero, any other way, tatama naman po yun. Sa akin lang, dito ako sanay, so ito yung ituturo ko. Ulitin ko ha, pagdating sa battery, kung lasan ka lumabas, yun ang sign ng iyong battery. Kung lumabas ka sa negative, eh di negative 8. Kaya lang, lumabas tayo sa positive dahil clockwise nga tayo, kaya positive 8. Next, minus 5i guys, kasi yung current ko kasabay ng pag-ikot ko. So, minus 5i. Meron ka pa bang ibang dadaanan? Wala na. So, equal to 0. So, ganun lang pong kasimple yung mag KVL. And then, manipulate mo lang to, makukuha mo na yung value ng i. Okay? So, in this case, 5i is equal to 8. i is equal to 8 over 5 amperes. Kuha mo na. 
Okay? Second case. Let's say, may run ako dito 8 volts. Baligta din ko naman yung direction ng current ko. Still, gamitin ko yung direction is K is clockwise. Okay? Clockwise, simula ko sa baba, pasok sa positive, labas sa negative. So, minus 8. And then, kung titingnan mo, ito yung direction mo, tapos ito yung current I mo, ano meron? Nagsalubong sila. Dahil nagsalubong sila, again sa direction, positive yan. Positive, 5I. Equal to 0. Okay? So, 5I is equal to 8. I is equal to 8 over 5 amperes. Pag nagsasolve po kayo, kayo na po yung bahalang mag-assume ng direction. Okay? Kung negative yung sagot nyo at yung answer is positive, Sa mga choices, wala po yung problema. Kasi unang-una po, yung assumption mo lang naman yung naging mali. Pero yung numerical value, mahalagang magkaparehas po. So, ganyan lang po ang pagkikvl. Okay? So, next video, magsasolve po tayo na isang complex circuit. So, please stop me. Hello guys, so let us solve this circuit. Okay, so the first step is to assign the direction for the currents. Ikaw na yung mag bahalang mag-assume ng direction ng currents. Kung gusto mo pababa, pataas, lahat pababa or mixture, ikaw na po yung bahala doon. So let's say this is I1, this is I2, this is I3, and this is I4. Okay. Secondly guys, mag-inspect ka. Connected ba to or ito bang resistor na to ay in series dito? Hindi. So magkaiba talaga yung current nila. Pangalawa, ito bang 5 ohms saka 10 ohms? Series ba sila? Yes. At kapag series, ano nga yung current natin? E isa lang. So I3 is equal to I4. Or simply, burahin ko na si I4 kasi nga E isa lang naman yung current na dumadali dito. Okay? So, let us say that is just I3. Okay na po ba? Kasi series lang naman. And then, KVL tayo sa loop na to. Again guys, lagi kong pinipiling direction is clockwise. So, KVL, clockwise tayo. Dito lang po sa loop na to ha, ito laan. So, sunsunin ko yung wire, sunsunin na ganyan is, is to trace. Simulan ko dito. Dahil si Si I1 ay kasabay ng pag-ikot ko, so that's negative 2I, 2I1. Labas ako sa positive terminal ng 12 volts. And then, si I2 kasabay pa din ng pag-ikot, so that's negative 8I2. And then, balik ako sa pinagsimulan ko, wala na ako nadaanan, equal to 0. So, meron akong negative 2I1 minus 8I2 equals negative 12. So, I have my equation number 1. Next, KVL naman ako sa loop na ito. Okay? So, kung sisimulan ko dito, tapos clockwise yung direction ko, di ba si I2 ay nakakasalubong ng direction ko? At kapag nga nakasalubong natin, that will become positive 8I2. And then, si I3 kasabay ng pag-ikot ko, so, that's minus I3. Eh, si I3 kanina dumadaan kay 5 ohms, tsaka kay 10 ohms. And then, balik ulit ako dito. Meron pa ba akong nadaanan? Wala na. So, equal to 0. So, that is equal to 8I2 minus 15I3 equal to 0. Okay? Kung bibilangin mo yung unknowns mo, I1, I2, I3, tatlo. So, you also need 3 equations in order to solve this problem. At saan ko kukuha ng isang equation? Dito ba? Sa outer loop? Hindi po. Kapag ginawa mo yun, malaki yung possibility na magkamali na yung equations mo. So, magki-KCL tayo dito sa node A. Okay? So, KCL at A. ba Current entering equals current leaving. Tingin lang dito. Si I1 papasok doon. 
And then, lalabas na si I2 tsaka si I3. So, I1 is equal to I2 plus I3. Tama po ba? And then, I1 minus I2 minus I3 equal to 0. Equation number 3. So, I have now 3 equations and I have 3 unknowns. So, definitely, I can solve this problem. Pero, rearrange ko lang. Again, this video is for students taking up physics. So, kung medyo talagang nabobord kayo dahil step by step, well, sorry po, mag-move na lang tayo dun sa next video. Okay? Para direct to the point na yun. So, that's negative 2i1 minus 8i2 8i2 plus 0i3 equals negative 12. Bakit ako naglagay ng 0i3? Para hindi po kayo malito. And then, 0i1 plus 8i2 minus 15i3 equals 0. And then ito, 1i1 minus 1i2 minus 1i3 equals 0. Di ba pag wala doong number, ang coefficient doon is matic 1. So we have 3 equations, 3 unknowns. You just utilize your calcul. Pindot lang po si mode. So, mode 5. So, that's equation 3. I'm sorry. Mode 5 equation option 2. Okay? Si option 1 po kasi is for 2 unknowns. 2 equation. Si equation, ah, si option 2 ay for 3 unknowns. 3 equation. Si option 3 is for quadratic equation. Kaya kung titignan nyo, ax squared. Si equation number 4 is for cubic equation. So, sa bagong nangangapa po sa calculator, ito po yung guide na mode 5 equation. So, what we're going to use is mode 5, 2. Kasi, 3 equations, 3 unknowns. Okay? Paano po pumindot sa kalyo? ba? Nakita nyo yung ABCD. So, pindot negative 2 equals negative 8 equals 0 equals negative 12 equals 0 equals 8 equals negative 15 equals 0 equals 1 equal tapos negative 1 equal then, negative 1 equal, 0 equals. Okay? And then, press equal sign. Tatlo yung unknowns mo. So, para makita mo yung tatlo mong value, just press the arrow down or equal, equal, equal ka lang. So, unang ipapakita sa'yo sa, si x. So, di ba? Si i1 yon. So, i1, i2, and i3. So, si I1, ang value is 138 over 83. Si I2, ang value is 90 over 83. And si I3, ang value is 48 over 83. Lahat ang unit nila ay amperes. Si current to nga, current nga to eh, ba? Okay? So, yan lang po ang way na how to solve using KVL. Okay? So, yan lang. So, please copy.